Hi folks, on this episode of Hitting Mahogany, we are going to take a little trip to South America, specifically Peru, uh, and we're going to do a pretty famous cocktail from there. Not the Pisco Sour, not this time, we'll do that one, but not just now. We are going to do Pisco Manhattan, Peruvian Manhattan, whatever you want to call it, it's the Capitan. Uh, this, of course, is based on a uh, base of Pisco. Uh, Pisco is a brandy. So nice and simple there, but uh, it has a, a very specific flavour. It's meant to be in the coastal uh, regions around about Lima that uh, the, the grapes come from around about there, which is part of uh, Pisco, specifically the one from Peru. If you get Pisco, you can get it from other countries as well in South America. They have different sweetnesses. So just be careful uh, as you're playing with them, uh, as you know, if you're doing a drink that maybe is the Pisco Sour, where there's a little bit of simple syrup in it, you may need less, you may need a little bit more. We'll touch upon that one at some other point, though, definitely. Uh, and I'm trying to remember, I think this shirt actually came from uh, Peru as well. Hopefully I'm not doing any appropriation here, but you know what? It's nice, it's relaxing, a little bit humid today, but this is a nice cotton shirt for it, so... Let's uh, let's uh, enjoy making this drink anyway while I'm comfortable in this. All right, based on a Manhattan, two to one. Uh, if you're just making this one straight off Pisco, sweet vermouth. Uh, the recipe that I'm actually going to use is half vermouth, half sweet vermouth and half dry vermouth, uh, the Capitan Perfecto. Uh, so we'll, we'll give that one a shot, see how that one turns out. Uh, let's get started then. We are gonna use mixing glass. We're not shaking this one. We're gonna stir it to chill it. All right, two to one. I'm only making one of these drinks, but two ounces of our lovely Pisco. There we go. <clears throat> Love the smell of this. You know, there's, there's a sweetness, but there's also a, a kind of sourness that lingers in the background there as well. It's almost something that kind of, I don't know, kind of, I wouldn't say dulls, but kind of dries out the, the, the senses as well quite a bit. I don't know what it is. I'll, I'll need to try and work out what, uh, it's not an umami, but uh, I wonder what that kind of scent or flavour is that's within it. But it's, uh, it's a really good spirit to try if you've never tried it. Okay, half ounce of a, a, a half ounce of sweet vermouth, actually. I was getting confused there because it's two to one. I'm like, how come it's only half an ounce? That's because we're going to split it half sweet and half dry. As I said, if you've only got sweet vermouth, give it a shot with that as well. It's just as good. You're just trying it a little bit different, okay? Uh, half ounce of dry vermouth. Now the Capitan, uh, as I looked into it, it's quite interesting, the background to this one. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Italian immigrants came over to the Lima area and they started uh, uh, drinking they brought basically the idea of vermouth with them and then they started mixing it with pisco and that's how they started the drink. Uh, it was called, I'm trying to think whether it was 40 cent, I can't remember, It was it, the cocktail was called how much it actually cost. Uh, and then in the Andes there was uh, the, uh, army captains who would go into bars in a town in Puno, Puna, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, they would go into the bars, they'd ask for this drink and you know it was like uh, there you go there's your drink captain and hey presto the name became the Capitan after a period of time. There's a little bit of history how these things actually happen. Uh, thankfully uh, I don't think anybody's you know I haven't gone into a bar and somebody said yeah there you go arsehole there's a drink for you. Cocktail hasn't been invented yet but maybe Maybe I could have one named after myself, the arsehole. There we go, we'll give that one a shot at some point. All right, I'll uh, put a dash of Angostura bitters into this as well. It's a Manhattan, of course. That will do it. All right. Stir, chill, dilute. Let's get ourselves some ice. Should do us. And now we shall stir. There's something very satisfying just about that sound. You know why? Because you know there's something coming at the end of it. It's just nice. Okay, I'm going to give this stir for a few seconds. Now keep yourselves entertained, okay? Mm. 
there we are, we're done with the magic roundabout there. If you don't know what the magic roundabout is then, sorry, you'll need to look that one up. Okay, strain into your glass. I'm using a coupe here for this one. Oh, I can smell that, it just smells fantastic as well actually. Now of course if you are using full sweet vermouth, it is going to be a little bit uh, redder in colour. And of course, because it's not bourbon, uh, it's a little bit lighter as well. Uh, but there we go, that's it. And your garnish, you can use the different ones, but a uh, recommended one for this is an olive. Uh, so that uh, when you have the olive, you get that saltiness and it makes you want to take another sip of the drink. You may notice my olive swung interestingly there. That's because I'm out of Kalamata olives that are pitted, so this one's actually got a stone in it. And I don't have a pitter, so... What the hell? We've still got it through there. It's there, an olive's an olive. Can't get everything quite right. Okay. All right. Oh, some essential tremors in picking this one up there, eh? Must be the excitement of it. Let's give this one a taste. Oh, that's great. I'm going to be honest on this one. Never had this before. First time having it. That is just... That's a phenomenal drink. This is a good one any time of year. With it not being bourbon, it's a little bit lighter. The vermouth, because it's just a small amount of the, there's just a hint of the sweetness and the, the flavour there. And then you've got the balance of the dry vermouth in there as well. And then, <coughs> underlying, sorry, I had an olive earlier on and a piece of it stuck in my throat and it's still there. That's what I get for cheating on some of the, the garnishes. Uh, but the pisco just coming underneath there, there's just that fruitiness of the grapes mm, just coming through on the underside of it as well. That is really, really nice. I think there's a lot of people who are going to like that one. I know there are versions of pisco that you can get, different flavours. You get more of the, the varietals of grape coming through in there. But this one here... Just with that balance of the sweet and the, the dry vermouth. Oh, I don't think there would be anybody that would dislike that one at all. It's just light, but it's got lots of different flavours and dot lots of different layers in it. A very interesting drink. That's phenomenal. Not going to be the last time I'm having that one, that's for sure. Anyway, everybody, cheers. Enjoy your uh, Pisco Peruvian Manhattan, otherwise known as the Capitan. Okay? Cheers.